today we are taking a train from Agra to Jaipur. We're both excited about this train because speed bump. Oh, multiple speed bumps. <laughs> it is going to be our first AC first class train. So far we've taken a third class AC train, a second class AC train. So today we're like covering the gamut of AC trains. I'm not sure if this is like a sleeper train or like a chair train. We'll find out. <laughs> We have arrived at the train station to learn that our train is already 45 minutes delayed. Hopefully that's it. We've also learned that these announcements never stop. They're very loud. Should I open it? No. Why? See if it's empty. So everything's a little confusing right now. <laughs> we are in a room that we have all to ourselves. The problem is these train tickets, somebody else booked them for me and they didn't have seat numbers on them. And you're supposed to be able to like check those online, but the system's down right now. So we just got on the only first AC train that we saw and came in the only room that didn't have people in it and we just assumed it's ours. Actually some guy that was selling food on the train put us in this room. I'm not sure if he works for the train or if he just like wanted us out of his way, but it works out. I hope we have this room all to ourselves. It's huge. This would be so great on an overnight. Yeah, this would have been really nice. But it's only a five hour train? Yeah. Five and hours. It was only like two hours delayed. Pretty good. Not bad. Okay, update, the first guy definitely didn't work for the train. A second guy who does, who is very nice, confirmed that this is our room. This big place all to ourselves. It even has a closet. So I'm gonna hang my coat up. And even though it's only a five hour train ride, I would love to take a nap. Cause I'm feeling super sleepy, probably because we haven't had coffee again today. What is this life coming to? I'm just kidding, that Such was dramatic. <laughs> So I'll do a quick little room tour. Closet. There's this huge bed and a second bed. That comes down somehow. Not really sure how to do it. And we just got a pillow with what looks like a clean cover on top. Blanket. I think this is the last person's sheets. I don't feel like these are clean. And all this space. I wonder what these do. Oh, this. What's that? There's a fan. Oh, look, you didn't have this thing that tells you when the bathrooms are occupied. <gasps> Squatty potty is currently free, and the western toilet's free. So the only bad thing we've learned about booking first class is that you're not guaranteed a room all to yourself. It's just kind of a crapshoot. So these rooms go every other room. There's four beds and two beds, and four beds and two beds. The girl that walked in before us got stuck in a room with three other guys and then we ended up getting a room to ourselves. and I think it's just pure luck. I don't think there's any way that you can like determine what you get. Well, we're in there for five hours. We're both still a bit sick. Let's make ourselves at home. Apparently in first class they even put your sheets on for you. Also one other feature that we forgot to point out. There is a door that closes. Two rolls of toilet paper. It 
made me kind of luscious a little bit. Kind of a gross story to tell you. You might remember the very first train ride that we took here in India if you've been following our series. And I was just loving like hanging out the window of the train, watching the world go by. But the more I did that, the more I felt like these little drops of moisture getting on my face. And at first I didn't think too much about it. And then it kind of weirded me out because I didn't know where it was coming from. So I'm not sure if you could tell exactly what was going on there, but basically anything that you put down into the toilet goes straight onto the tracks. And I have a really good feeling that as the train is passing the tracks, it's throwing up whatever is on the tracks. So I just try not to think about it. That's why we haven't been hanging out the train as much the last two times. I think as long as the train's going slow, no moisture being thrown up. But if the train's going fast, don't hang your head out. Five hours later, we're in Jaipur. We have met the world's nicest tuk-tuk driver and he is taking us to our place for less than $2, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one. This is the coolest tuk-tuk we've ridden in yet. Yeah, you can't, you can't have another one in India. <laughs> I've only seen from the train station to our hotel and I already love Jaipur and I have a cold, which says a lot. <laughs> The tuk tuk driver that brought us here was super nice. The guy at our hotel has been super nice. And this room that we're staying in is three, maybe four times bigger than the room that we stayed in last so night. So great. And we have a kettle in our room, which means you can bring me coffee in bed. This is the first water kettle that we've had in our room since we got to India, <laughs> like three weeks ago. So we have a couple hours of daylight left and we're just gonna go walk around and explore the city. Jaipur is known as the pink city because of so many pink buildings here. And it's because in 1876, Queen Victoria and the Prince of Wales came here on a tour and to welcome them, they painted so many buildings pink. It's supposed to be the color of hospitality and most of the buildings are still pink today. Market Street, it goes on forever, and slowly making our way across town to a really good viewpoint of the Wind Palace. India videos there was like all kinds of food and in the past few there's been a lack thereof that's because it's not as much fun to eat when you have to go to the bathroom right after we're both feeling a little bit better now we're both a little hungry and we just passed the street food that we think we're ready to try so for the best Makora. is it veggie inside yes how much so we've learned it's called Dal Pakora. I feel pretty good about this because we're literally watching them put it into the boiling grease. I think it's just like a fried dough ball with a lot of spices in it. I see some fennel. That's about all I recognize. Oh yeah. It's like a slightly spicy Indian hush puppy. It's actually really delicious. Look how beautiful they are. Crispy and golden brown. Hopefully we won't regret this. They have found a really good viewpoint this time looking over the palace. So not only have the bunch of tears found this perfect spot to sit and hang out, but Lena has somehow found Italian espresso in the middle of Jaipur. How did she do it? I don't know how she did it, but I have it and it's my first real coffee in I feel like I'm in Italy. Yay! Yay! Probably not the best idea for my 
stomach issues right now, but it was worth it. <laughs> That's why I didn't order one. Because I'm going to be in the toilet all day. <laughs> relaxing afternoon. The coffee is just what I needed to feel better. So we split up with the budgeteers, but we're actually meeting up with them again tonight because Patty has lived here before and he said you can't come to India without experiencing an India cinema, which is something that wasn't on our radar at all, but we decided why not? So we're still not really sure why we're at an Indian movie theater. Patty's going to explain to us. It's not that complicated. Basically, I was in uh, Rajasthan, Jaipur on a previous trip a few years ago, and I remember stumbling in here, and it turns out that it's one of the biggest, most famous, and most interesting cinemas in the whole of India. And coming to India to watch a film is a really cheap and interesting local experience. The Bollywood movies, people start dancing, it's just an interesting and completely opposite experience to back home in the West. And I mean, look at this place. It is beautiful. It's crazy. Like the most beautiful building we've been in in India, pretty much. Yeah, and two dollars for a ticket. And uh, you can't go wrong. for popcorn. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You heard it here, folks. That was really good. This is how you know you're traveling in luxury. Oh, it's a little wet in there. Our own private trash can. Let's put that back under there. Hey Siri, is there Starbucks in Jaipur, India? I couldn't find any matching places. Yeah. Are you filming? I just saw the photo. 